Yeah, we wait till they're ripe and then we we dry them, like in a dark place, like the barn or some place where it's breezy. And then then we have to get the seed out of the. Are you making a movie? Are you taking pictures? Movie. <laughs> Terribly, you're gonna end up on YouTube. Then we have to separate the seeds from all the chaff and stuff. So, like, if the, in the case of the beans, we'd like put them in a bag and crush all the dry stuff up, and then blow it out with a fan. What do you do the rest of the year? <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> here we are at the Fedco Seeds booth at the Common Ground Fair. This is the backs of Jean and Michelle. All kinds of people here at the Fed Coast Seeds booth. Thank you, I found it. Thanks, John. Wow, this is the uh, Fed Coach Apples. Display. I got to wait and see if I can get them all in there. These are the most common varieties in old main orchards. That's what it says on there. On the edge of an old field. Inside the booth. Oh, look, we have the Fedco Trees catalog this year. I haven't seen those yet. And here's some more varieties that you might want to look at. Lots of different varieties of apples. Is it rustic? Is it a dome? Is it one of them hippie little things? And here's the display for all the different bulbs. Okay. Cash register. The cash hey, register person. I, uh, I actually have a. I wrote a song, a dog song. Here we are, the Teltane Farm Nursery Booth. They're selling primarily garlic, but also some few apples. Kinds of garlic okay, we're going to ask this gentleman. How are you doing? Good. Good. We got a banner year for garlic this year. Good. Except for and I can't remember can... what we planted. You know, uh -huh. we just buy some. Yeah. But sort of the name Russian Red sticks in our craw. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that's our. Here we are at the main exhibition hall at the Common Ground Fair. And in addition to that, you will see that we have a sundial here made of stone. <laughs> a lot of people around it you just might want to see the sundial. Then according to the sundial, it is now a little after 10 o'clock. According to this stone. Children's parade. Aww. Oh, we just stopped playing the bagpipes. We're going to start again. We are all we all belong in the garden. So it says the children's garden parade. Children are dressed up with different kinds of things like bumblebees and vegetables. Oh, <laughs> sunflower. Oh, look, someone's got a big spider out there. Grow your own, Valentine's Day. Give these a chance. Well, today we import practically all our food from thousands of miles away. Back then, Palermo residents produced virtually all their own food right here. In 1880, there were 198 households in Palermo. 184 of them had at least one cow. 165 of them had at least one horse. 65 had a team of oxen. I wonder what the town would be like today if 65 families had a pair of oxen. Well over half grew wheat. Practically all grew potatoes, though only four grew as many as three acres. 151 had a small flock of sheep. 
104 had at least one pig. Most grew hay and beans and what they called Indian corn. Many grew oats and practically everyone grew apples. John Bunker on his book. We're coming out the rose gate down here. Uh, I saw the Jim and Sydney bicycle. Well, I'll show you the sign that says rose gate.